Have you wanted to customize some of Alexa's responses to certain questions? With Alexa Blueprint, you can now customize your own questions and answers. You can provide information responses for house guests or babysitters, and you can even make your own multiple choice trivia game. I'm gonna show you how to start using Alexa Blueprints, but first, I wanna say hi, my name is Craig, and this is my tech talk. I love learning about this kind of stuff and sharing it with you, so if you have any comments or questions, please share them. Also, check out the description, you'll find links in there to the Echo if you wanna buy one, learn more about them, and I'll put the link in there to the Blueprints uh, website so you could start seeing that and checking it out. Now, let's get started. For anyone not in the US, this is not available yet. This came out yesterday. I was excited to read about it because it seems like an interesting feature that starts to pave the way to really customizing the Echo devices and making it more a real virtual assistant for you. Amazon has set up a new program to kind of build your own skills. They've created templates, or as they call them, blueprints. And these blueprints will uh, give you a form to fill out. They'll have questions and you'll provide the answer. And you can leave the questions they have and just uh, provide an answer, or you can even customize that question. So when you ask that question, you'll get the response that you chose back. Now this can be incorporated in all different ways as you'll see when we start to look at the blueprint. Let's open up the webpage and we'll take a look and see how we could start making our own skills. This is blueprints.amazon.com. Up here you have the featured blueprint. You have an area of fun and games, inspirations there, family jokes. You can make some little compliments, a family trivia game. You can make flashcards for the kids. You can do some stuff uh, for guests coming over, for people to babysit your kids or your pet. The storyteller area gives you some formats and preset stories that you can customize. There's some good stuff in here and it's a good place to start. Let's look at building some skills. Let's say we wanna make our own custom Q&A. Click on custom Q&A. And now we can hear a sample or we can actually try to start making it. So let's make our own, ready to make a skill, just follow these three simple steps. Edit the examples that are there, add your own content, save and finish. Q&A, okay, let's go through it. Who's the best mom? Who's the lamest brother? Your sister is pretty cool. There we go. Who's the best dad? That would be your paternal grandfather because he raised your dad. Who is dad's favorite kid? The, the dog, bear. Who is the hero of the family? Brings home candy. Which is your favorite movie? <sighs> Tech talk. Now let's just create our skill. Okay. I'm creating my first skill here. It says that it'll now take a couple of minutes after your skill's ready. You can ask your questions exactly as you wrote them. If you don't hear your custom responses, Alexa may not have heard you correctly. You can verify what she heard by visiting the history section under the Alexa app. My skill is ready to use. Our Q&A skill has been created. Now it's time to try it out and see how it works. Computer, who is the best mom? I just compared all moms in history, and my conclusion is that yours is the best. Computer, what is your favorite show? It is Craig's Tech Talk. Computer, who is the hero in the family? The person who brings home candy. <laughs> there was a few examples. It worked. It answered the questions that I made up with the answers that I made up. Pretty cool. Let's take a look at Fairy Tale. This is Fairy Tale. Uh, this allows you to create an interactive story. You can hear a sample of the story, or you could start to make your own. This will actually ask who the princess is and who the prince is. And once you say the name, they'll be incorporated in the story. You can actually customize the story too and rewrite it. You also have some sounds in there. This can be customized to your own kid's story. Pretty cool. 
So I'm not going to go through and create this one. Let's look at some of the other ones. House guests. This is kind of interesting to me because we'll have my mother stay in town to help watch the kids. And sometimes there's stuff you want to tell them and we'll type up list and write all this out. So this can help you create and t uh, stuff to tell them, list of things they need, where to find them, give them instructions, all that stuff. So let's try this. We'll click make it your own. And where's the TV remote? That's cool. Uh, add an item. Extra dog food. The left of the door. Ooh, how to do things. When asked, how do I, ooh, turn on the lights. There we go. How do I turn on the alarm? There we go. Let's customize this. Welcome to the personal house guest. Here's the intro. We'll just leave that. Let's name it. Create the skill. And while we wait, if you scroll down here, you get some other blueprints that are kind of laid out so they have stuff that's already filled in. But same concept as what you have here, the home guide. It's just this one's catered to babysitter. Next one's catered to the pet sitter. Okay, it's ready to use. We're going to open up the home guide for our house guest that we just made. Computer, open Craig's home guide. Well, hello. What can I help you find? Where is the dog food? In the garage to the left of the door. What else would you like to know? Where's the remote? Living room couch, most likely. <laughs> what else would you like to know? How do I turn off the lights? Flip off the light and turn it back on. This will override the automatic routines. What else would you like to know? Ah, how do I set the alarm? Grab the car keeps and swipe the fob over the door panel. What else would you like to know? Nothing. If you have any other questions, just ask me. That's pretty cool. I could see how that could come in handy. I like that. Now I'm just going to go through and show you some examples of what the others do. I'm not going to go through and demonstrate them individually, but you could just see the form and see how these can be useful. Let's see what else we have here. Inspirations. I do like this idea right here because there are a lot of inspirational skills. They're great if you want to just kind of see whatever they throw at you. It'd be nice to curate your own list of inspirational quotes. Let me just look at make your own to see what the format is. There's the quote, the author. Each time you open the skill, it'll pick one at random. And it actually has some of them filled in right now. I like this. Let's take a look at family trivia. This one here, you make your own multiple choice questions based on your family. You make four answers. You open it up. It'll ask, is it one, two, three, four? You'll pick one of those four. If you get it right, it'll tell you you did a good job. Let's take a look at that. You can make your own questions. You can make your own answers. You can add a fourth answer. This is cool if you want to take the time to do this. Okay, that seems like a lot of work. I think it would be great to actually have a skill to ask you these questions and record it so you can do it verbally and not have to type all this out. Let's go back to the list here. Uh, learning and knowledge. You can create your own flashcards. This is family jokes. Uh, I shouldn't even play around with this one because nothing good's going to come out of this. My wife would kill me playing with this. With traveling and with our nanny and family helping out at times, babysitter could come in handy. Fill in your child's daily schedule and needs. Enter answer to your sitter's questions. Provide key contact info and pick a name. Let's just take a look at that. When asked for morning schedule, Alexa will say, oh, wow. See, this is nice. I mean, we end up typing this up that it would be kind of nice to have a verbal list too, because I feel like someone may actually check it instead. I feel like I type up this whole list of notes and nobody reads it at times. Pet sitter, since we have dogs, It'll basically fill in your pet's daily habits and needs, answers a common question, provide contact info for your vet. Let's just take a look at the form there. It's basically the same formula there, except they replaced the word kids with dogs. Um, yeah, that was a little look at Alexa Blueprints and how it can be used to create your own questions and answers, information for house guests, 
and games and trivia and all kinds of other good stuff. Please let me know if you have any thoughts or questions about Alexa Blueprint. I do have a question for you. It is, how do you see using Alexa Blueprint? Put your answers down in the comments section. If you like this video, hit that like button for me and share it with a friend. If you haven't subscribed, please hit that subscribe button and the bell next to it and you'll be notified when the next video comes out. I appreciate you taking the time to watch this video. Thank you and have a great day. Bye.